to your point, we are super women. We have so much to think about. Mm -hmm. And then on top of that, the career question is also part of this. This happened to me. Have you ever been in a point in your career where you would have thought about stopping right at that moment to have a family? Never, not one time. <laughs> Forty-year-old Roxy Diaz is freezing her eggs after hitting the wall. Kids or career? Welcome to Manage for Highlights Daily. This is the future, guys. Women in their 40s without children asking themselves, what happened? A while back, we made a video about Julissa using the delusional dating calculator. And she is delusional, by the way. Make sure you watch that video. In this video, she talks to her friend Roxy Diaz who is also successful and single. At 40 years old, the fertility rate drops to 35%, making it much harder and even dangerous to get pregnant. She decided to freeze her eggs. We're gonna break down why her chances are slim when it comes to finding Prince Charming to marry her and impregnate her. Now it's time for us to dive into this and do what we have to do. Because we men and we. We men and we. Jeez. We are both 30 plus <clears throat> on the <laughs> heavy on the plus. <laughs> well, I made my 40 already, so I'm fine with it. Yeah. I'm okay with saying my age because I don't look my age and nope. I think it's definitely. Whoa, 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 whoa. Who says you don't look your age? There's something on your face and it has many, 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 many layers. It's called makeup. If you want to be impressive, don't tell me your age. Just go wash your face and then we'll see if you look your age or not. Definitely a mentality thing, although biologically inside, my ovaries ain't, you know, they like, yo, 40. Right. But, you know, <laughs> I don't care about it because it's really just a mindset, like the number of. And you I, just turned 40. I just turned 40, so it's like not a really big deal. It Did feels, you have it anxiety? Feels I feel like I had more anxiety turning 38 and 39 because of like the stipulations and like the whole, oh my God, what am I doing? The baby thing, you know? So definitely at 38 was kind of like a mental almost breakdown. Like I was like, oh God, like I don't have any kids. Like A lot of women are living in the moment. They have all the time in the world until they don't. They prioritize their jobs and careers and take relationships for granted. And then they hit the wall and panic kicks in a lot of women are gonna experience this mental breakdown, this pain, because the wall is undefeated. It just hits women like this harder because of the success they have achieved. You can't F with nature. Your eggs will dry up. The wall doesn't discriminate. But at, like during the pandemic and quarantine and, and just downtime, I just started to really prioritize. And it's like, mm -hmm. you really can make your family when you're ready to make your family. There's no rush to doing it. What? Girl, you're done. You're 40 years old. You don't have time. Can you believe the words that are coming out of your mouth? Your fertility rate is at a dangerous level for you and the kid. What the hell is wrong with you? You've got time the foolishness i know but this is the thing and it's the line between of there is no rush but then to your point biologically our clocks are ticking i mean we can't we can't go against nature i actually pulled up some statistics go because i knew we were going to have this mm -hmm. conversation who better to have this conversation <laughs> with than roxy finally bring out the numbers and try to make sense for a change she so did you know, because I pulled up some statistics, average age of women having kids in 2021, mm -hmm. it was 26 years old, but for fathers it was actually 31. Mm. And if we take it way back in 1990, it was 24 years old. And then in 1970, it was 21. Yeah. In major cities where many women are seeking careers, the average age of a woman having her first kid is 32 years old. Okay, that makes sense. So, because we both passed that age, <laughs> I want to ask you seriously, are we going to have kids or not? Nah? Never. You first. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not in a rush. Why me first? You can go first. When, I'm not. When you're older. Listen, I, I am a great auntie. I am a great friend, take care of the baby, godmother, all of that stuff. I am not going to rush having a child when the situation at home is not right either. The reason I said never is because what she wants is hard to get. 
She already said it. She's not gonna rush having a child when the situation at home is not good. So let's get into it. Check this out. So do I want a baby and a person that I could chill with? The answer is yes to both. I am in love with the fact of raising a good human being on this water planet that we're on right now. She wants to have a family. She doesn't want to have a kid by herself. So she needs a man first. This is where it becomes tricky because her net worth is around $3 million. We all know that women are not interested in dating down. So she's looking to date a man that's on the same playing field or higher. Six figures is already a big problem for these delusional women, but seven figures? And then he has to be tall and handsome, of course. This is not looking good for you, lady. Let's take it a step further. Let's be very, very, very clear, okay? I had a lot of fun in my 20s. <laughs> a lot of fun. I was on a hit TV show. Yes. I was doing my damn thing. I had a lot of fun years, in my 20s for many with years. With them legs and them toes in out. In my 30s, I was more selective with what I was happening, and I'm very selective going forward. She was having a lot of fun. In other words, she was riding the hot dog carousel, and one of the guys that did it is the living legend Eddie Murphy. And guess what? Eddie Murphy was 51 years old at the time and Roxy was 22 years old at the time. You're 40 years old right now and Eddie Murphy proves that older men are looking to date younger women. Eddie Murphy allegedly dumped her ass because she was too clingy and moved on to the woman he is currently engaged to and they have two children together. She was 31, 32 years old at the time. Once again, a younger woman. The man that Roxy wants is most likely not looking for her. Let's take it a step further. And when do you have children? When you finally feel like it's right for you. Not based off of what anybody says. Stop asking women, when are you gonna have kids? Stop asking women, why don't you have any kids? Do you want more kids, you know, or they Do you see that? Do you see that? No more questions. Where did we hear that before? Women, be the boss. Demand change when you want to. Stop apologizing so damn much. <laughs> Men, do what the women say without question. Without question. Without question. They don't like it when you ask them certain questions because they don't like the answers to those questions. They don't like rules and they don't like to be held accountable. She rode the hot dog carousel in her 20s and early 30s. And now that you're 40, you don't want people to ask questions because the answers will make you look bad. The answers will force you to face reality. And this is why they get these mental breakdowns. You can't handle the truth. She had opportunities to be with the man that she's looking for, but she made her choice. Check this out. To your point, we are super women. We have so much to think about. Mm -hmm. And then on top of that, the career question is also part of this. This happened to me. Have you ever been in a point in your career where you would have thought about stopping right at that moment to have a family? Never, not one time. That's your answer, guys. She was never interested in being a mother. Education first, career first. We already made a video about Julissa where she explains that she chose her career over the love of her life. Don't expect these career women to cater to you because you are not a priority for them. These women made their choice, but there's this fear of missing out. They can't help it because they are created to have children. It's not just their careers that make them postpone motherhood or struggle with relationships. It's also social media. Check this out. Although I share a lot of myself on my social medias and on my right. YouTube channel and all of that stuff, I share a lot of, of Roxy because I choose to show me. And in my social life, in my personal life, I choose to keep that private because that's mine. Right. And until I have a ring on my finger, then you'll see him. Right. But until then, you see me, you see me. You see, when you see him, then you know it's right. him and me. You know what I'm saying? Cause Women get a lot of attention on social media and a lot of thirsty guys are in their DMs. Women confuse these guys with men who want a serious relationship with them. And even if these men want a serious relationship, most of them will get rejected. And now she thinks she still got it at 40. So she is still out there waiting for the creme de la creme. 
do look into the investment of freezing your eggs. I should have done it way earlier. I'm in the process of doing that. Are you currently yeah. doing that? Well, I've started the process okay. yeah, of doing I it. I feel like I want to do that. Way. It's definitely something that is very, very realistic and, and that women should really, really do. She's freezing her eggs. 80% of women that are freezing their eggs are single. She wants the big baller. No average Joe. She's freezing her eggs. Still wants a ring on her finger. I don't understand why you would put a ring on her finger, especially if you are a seven figure earner. The process of having to freeze your eggs and do the egg retrieval and taking the shots and this, it's not, it's not comfy. And not only that, it's expensive and it's not guaranteed. She's freezing her eggs at 40 years old. Her fertility rate has dropped around 35% now. The process with Is it expensive? Everybody. It's very expensive. You want to set aside at least ten thousand dollars, ten to fifteen thousand dollars. But you also got to remember too that it's not just freezing your eggs; it's also the maintenance of the of the freezing. It's you know mm. you got to pay for that freezer like right. a rental every year. Every you know you got to wow. you got to pay for it until you finally use them. And you like, got to check in on them werewolves. Yeah, you got to make sure they're okay. You know they don't get frostbite. So you wow. just want to make sure that <laughs> you know, thing. they don't expire. You see what comes with the territory of these career women? Women can do whatever they want, it's their lives, but this is a channel for men, and we're gonna highlight the hazards that are out there. And these career women don't make the best girlfriends because their careers come first, and they will do everything to boost their careers. We say you can't make a whole housewife, but the same goes for career women. Can't make them a housewife either. It's not looking good. Don't be surprised when you see more of these 40 plus year old women talking about freezing their eggs, keeping the dream alive of marrying Prince Charming one day. How are we gonna do it if Well, we so can't do it, Julia. As much well, as no, I love I'm, you, <laughs> we physically can't do it. Well, you or know it can't what happen, I mean. okay? <laughs> we can take, maybe you get you weekends and we rotate? No, no, no. It's no. like a dog, let's <laughs> get another dog. No. Manosphere, we working. Protect yourself at all times. This video has officially been highlighted.